Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to talk about solving and graphing linear inequalities. Solving one step, two step linear inequalities. What's an inequality? It's a range of values rather than one set number. An algebraic relation showing that a quantity is greater than or less than another quantity. Example for this one is speed limit. We have x is greater than or equal to 55 or less than or equal to 75. So in symbols, we have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. So meet the inequality brothers. So in here, if we have greater than or less than, an open dot and a broken line, it is non-inclusive or also known as open. We have the other one, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and a closed dot and a straight line, it is inclusive, also known as closed. So, here are the following examples. We can have a range of answers using this inequality, x is less than 2. So, all real numbers less than 2. So, we use an open dot and the direction is to the left because it is less than. Now, let us have other example. So supposing we have this inequality x is greater than negative 2. So all real numbers greater than negative 2. So in here we are going to use an open dot and then the direction is to the right because it is greater than. Let us have another one. So in here, we have the inequality x is less than or equal to 1. So at your 1, we use a close dot and then the direction is to the left because it is less than. So the solution here are all real, real numbers less than or equal to 1. Now, let us have this inequality. x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So, in here, we are going to use a close dot. And then the direction is going to the right because it is greater than. So, the solution, all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 3. So, negative 3 is included. Did you notice some of the dots were solid and some were open? Like in x is less than 2, we use an open dot. And in x is less than or equal to 1, we use a closed dot. Why do you think that is? So if the symbol is greater than or less than, then the dot is open because it cannot be equal. And then if the symbol is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, then the dot is solid. Because it can be that point too. Meaning, if it is solid, the number is included in the solution. Now let us write and graph a linear inequality. So, Sue ran a 2K race in 8 minutes. Write an inequality to, to describe the average speed of runners who were faster than Sue. Graph the inequality. So in here... As you learn in your physics class, to get the average, we are going to compute it by distance over the time. So, of course, we represent the faster runners than so as greater than. So, in here, the distance is 2 and the speed is 8. 
So S is greater than 2 over 8 or re reducing it to the lowest term, it is 1 fourth. So we have S is greater than 1 fourth. And to graph this one, since 1 fourth is less than 1, so let us have the open that before 1 and then the arrow to the right because it is greater than. Solving an inequality. Solving a linear inequality in one variable is much like solving a linear equation in one variable. Isolate the variable on one side using inverse operations. So solve using addition. So if we have x minus 3 is less than 5, so in here it involves subtraction, so we are going to add. So we are going to add the same number to each side of the inequality. So we are going to add plus 3 so that on the left side of the equation, it is equal to x. And on the right side, it is 5 plus 3. So either you use transposition or addition property, we shall arrive at the same answer. x is less than 8. Now we are going to solve inequality using subtraction. So we are going to subtract the same number from each side. Given that x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 10, we are going to subtract 6 from each side of the inequality. So on the left side, we have 6. So greater than or equal to 10 minus 6 is 4. So we have x is greater than or equal to 4. If we are going to graph it, we are going to use a solid or close that and then the arrow will point to the right, or the direction of the arrow will go to the right. So now another example using subtraction, if we have x plus 5 greater than or equal to 3, then we are going to subtract both sides by 5. So we have on the right side 3 minus 5, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So grabbing the solution, we have negative 2, close that because of the presence of equal 2, and then the direction is to the right because of it is greater than. Now let us have another one using addition. So if we have negative 2 greater than n minus 4, so we have negative 4 plus or negative 2 plus 4, which is equal to 2. So n is less than 2. So in here, we use the open dot and then the direction is to the left because it is less than. The trap. So when you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by a negative number, take note. Multiply or divide each side of inequality by a negative number you must reverse the inequality symbol to maintain a true statement. So if we have 1 half x greater than 3, in here we are going to multiply both the inequality by 2. So take note, we are multiplying each side by the same positive number. So we are not going to reverse the symbol. So x is greater than 6. So nothing's changed. So using division, if we have 3x less than or equal to 9, dividing both sides by 3, so x is less than or equal to 3. So nothing's changed in this symbol because we are dividing both sides by a positive number. Now we are going to solve using multiplication of a negative number. So multiply each side by the same negative number and reverse the inequality symbol. So if we have negative x less than 4, in here we are going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So we have x is greater than negative 4. So take note, when you multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number, the inequality symbol will be reversed. So, C 
see the switch from less than to greater than. Now let us have an example by dividing negative number. So let us divide each side by the same negative number and reverse the inequality symbol. So if we have negative 2x less than equal to 6, dividing both sides by negative 2, so we have x is greater than equal to negative 3. So take note from less than equal to, it turns to, neg to greater than equal to. Now let us have an additional example solving multi-step inequalities. So if we have 6y minus 5 minus 2y less than 11, so combining like terms, 6y minus 2y is 4y, then we have 4y minus 5 less than 11, and then add 5 to both sides of the equation. So we have 4y less than 16. So either you are adding or you are going to transpose minus 5 to the other side. We, we, we shall arrive at the same answer. So 4y less than 16 in here, dividing both sides by 4. So we will be getting y is less than 4. Since we are dividing a positive number to both sides of the inequality, nothing's changed with the symbol. Remains the same as less than. So if we are going to try to grab it in the number line, or on the number line, I should say. It is an open that, and the direction is to the left because it is less than. So if we have negative 11 greater than equal to 2 times the quantity negative 3x plus 1 plus 5. In here, we are going to distribute 2 inside the parentheses, and then we are going to simplify to so negative 11 less than equal to negative 6 plus 7. And then we are going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. So we will be getting negative 18 greater than equal to negative 6x, dividing both sides by negative 6. So in here, we are dividing both sides by neg a negative number. So there is a reverse in the inequality symbol. So it is x is greater than equal to 3, or 3 is less than equal to x. So if we are going to graph, we are going to use a solid dot or a closed dot, and the direction will be to the right, because x is greater than. Now, an additional example or application in real life, Sun Li has $30 to spend at the carnival. Admission is $5. And each ride costs $2. What is the greatest number of rides she can ride? In here, let R represent the number of rides Sun Li can ride. So we have the inequality 5, which is the admission, plus 2R. So each ride costs 2. And R represent the number of rides. So 2R less than equal to 13. Why is it less than equal to 30? If we are going to translate great, greatest number or at most, we represent it as less than equal to. So from here, we are going to subtract 5 from both sides. Then we are going to have 2R less than equal to 25 and dividing both sides by 2. So we will be getting 12 and 1 half. In here, in real life, we don't have one half number of rides. So, we are going to just take 12. Because, why 12? Because if you are going to substitute, 2 times 12 is 24 plus 5 is 29. So, it is less than or equal to 30. So, Sun Li can write only a full number of rides. So, the most she can write is 12. So, please do your exercise 1A, page 4, numbers 1 to 50. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye!